Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys, and I have a couple toys here on my desk. One is the BB-8 Droid. There are probably a million of these identical toys made by Hasbro. I also have a Mini-Me that I had ordered from Amazon. This is one of a kind, but when I had it made, I was only able to pick out a few options. They printed it out, colored it, and then sent it to me. Now, wouldn't it be cool if you could create your own toys from start to finish? It's not back to the future. The future is now, and we're going to create a toy today. Epic review, guys. But it's possible now. It takes some skills and it takes some money, but you can draw out a design of a toy that you have in mind and have that turned into an actual physical object. Now I'm not going to cover the software side of things, that's art and engineering and people generally go to class to learn how to do that. I'm going to pick up in the process where there is a design and you would like to have that turned into a physical object. So I'm going to show you a website, that's where I have gone for my 3D objects. Now when you're thinking of something and you can't think what the name for it is, you call it a thingy. And so I'm going to take you to Thingiverse. Thingiverse is a website where people post their 3D printer creations. They've gone through and done all the hard work of designing the objects and they are kind enough to share the files that you need to take to a place that has a 3D printer to print out whatever it is. This is an animatronic device so that your tail in your cosplay costume can actually move around. A lot of the things here are for fun. Some of them are actually serious though. Someone has a particular device that um, a gear has worn out on and there's no longer a replacement. Well, if you can get the right specifications and go in and design it yourself, you can have that gear, the replacement gear created, one that will actually be able to be dropped in place and work and get that machine working again. Now that's amazing. Now in the top right corner in the search box, I've typed in BB-8 because I want to see if anyone has created any BB-8 designs. You can search here for My Little Pony or Marvel Superheroes and it's likely that somebody out there has done the work of creating a model for that. And here's what we find. Okay, we get on to other things here. Looks like the better matches are right up at the top. I can see here how many people have liked the design. I think this is how many downloads and people who've come back and commented whether it worked for them or what issues that they had. Now one way to choose is to look at the number of likes, the number of downloads. If it seems to be very popular, it might be a good design and there could be some not so good designs out here. So this is the first one that I looked at and it looks pretty good. You can see they did a nice job of painting it. Here's what it comes out of the printer looking like. They use blue material to print it. You can read more information about this particular model. You can also read the comments other people have made. Um, sometimes they'll upload pictures of how it turned out for them as well. So I like this one, but I didn't care for it being in two pieces. And I wanted a single piece, preferably something that could stand up on its own. The other thing about this model is it's made to scale. So if it's printed out the way the files say, it'll be just over a meter tall, just over three feet tall. That's big. That costs about $7,000 to print. Little out of the price range I was looking for. Now up here, this one is someone who, I think they took this original one and they scaled it down, as you can see, is a remix design. It has a base and it's a one-piece print um, for the main toy itself. The base will be a separate piece. Pretty much just what I was looking for. They say low memory, high detail. There's some other pictures of how it turned out. Here they mentioned the original file that they remixed from. Now it also has a fair number of views and downloads and this is the one I decided to go with. I have an account here with um, Thingiverse so I went and downloaded the file which gives you um, the STL files. That's the key thing you're looking for generally to do 3D printing. You need the STL files. You can download it as a zip and then it has all the information that the place will need like the UPS store to print this out. Now this was still going to be larger than I wanted, well at least in terms of how much I wanted to spend. So they did scale it down from this 
And as for getting a quote for the cost, um, talking about resizing it to change that cost, about how it looks in terms of is it going to be a design that falls over or pieces break off, it's as easy as emailing the folks at the place where they have the printer because they have software that can calculate all of this. I work with Kyle over at our local UPS store. He's been great and very helpful. Explained a lot about uh, 3D printing to me. And so if I have something in mind, a particular item that I found on Thingiverse, I'll send the file to him and say, here's how much money I'd like to spend, or this is the size I would like this uh, blown up to or decreased down to, how much would it cost at that? And he can run the numbers on that. In this case, he got back to me in person when I was over at the UPS store the next day. And then he's been very helpful in accommodating me with the recording of the actual 3D printing, which I'll be showing you here shortly. Now, if you're going to use a service like at the UPS store where they have a 3D printer, you may have to wait if there are other jobs ahead of yours. And surprisingly, it takes quite a while to print a 3D object. Even a small thing is usually at least a couple of hours. And then there's a support material that the printer also puts into place. It extrudes it alongside the actual material for whatever it is you're creating, and it helps to hold the pieces together to hold them straight up and so forth. So that has to be removed and that's done in a chemical bath, which they have in the back of the UPS store. It's a very hot liquid that has certain chemicals in it that will dissolve the support material but not dissolve the material that your actual product is made out of. It's pretty cool. So it turned out it was going to take five hours to print my version of the BB-8 and it was going to cost about $60. I asked for a size that would work for the $50 to $60 range, and so it's not that big, it's not this big, but I'll show you the video of it actually being produced and then I'll show you the final product. Okay. I like that post. Well, it'll be interesting to see when all this support material comes off what it looks like underneath. You can see some of it with the design, and that part is the actual finished material. That never cracks the actual final product. <coughs> There, there are products sometimes that would be too much of a risk to remove that way, ah. and so we, we don't do that. But yours are 
that fragile. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of surface area. Yeah. That was big and flat. <laughs> now this one, we can remove most of it for the fact. And it just leaves this a little bit inside okay. there. Okay, pretty warm. Now, you told me before what this is. Is it just water or is there some chemical in it? There's a, there's a solution of chemicals in there that okay. breaks down that other, that other support chemical. Okay. So it'll, it'll dissolve that over the next couple of hours. And this gets hot as well, the liquid in here? It does. Okay. Uh, 71 degrees Celsius. Oh. So yeah. Fairly, fairly hot. And here is the final product that came out of the chemical bath after spending the night with that support material dissolving. Here is the stand. You can see the Star Wars, it stands out there. Now, most of the time, the items you make with a 3D printer are hollow because you get charged for the material. So there's no sense making this completely solid. It doesn't need to be that strong and it saves you a lot of money to have it hollow inside, as is the actual BB-8 droid. Now, you notice this stand on here, and I was curious about that because I didn't think it was in the design, but Kyle over at the UPS store explained to me that's put in there because some models of 3D printers don't put the support material in there, and there isn't a way for it to stand up and be created otherwise. So it's um, loosely attached. That piece can be broken off very easily, file it down smooth, and then it will fit into its stand just fine. But for now, I'm not going to take it off because I think it might come in handy for Roxana painting it to have that in place. And to look inside here, it is hollow in there. So the material is just in the outside portion. And to give you an idea here of the scale, let's zoom back. Here's the BB-8 toy that I reviewed on Saturday. Of course, it's much smaller than the actual one in the movie. This is about, what would you say, a fifth, an eighth of the size of this one. And you'll notice what this is missing here on the top are the antennas. Now even on this, because they're thin, they would be easily broken. So these are sort of rubbery, it's a different material, so they won't break off too easily. On this, it was just better not to have them there. The original design had the antennas, but people who printed it were saying they just seem to break right off. So the person who did the remix, I think, left the antennas off of this design. Roxana will get this next, and we'll get a chance to put her artistic skills to use painting it so it looks just like the one in the movie. 3D printers seem like something out of science fiction in a galaxy far, far away, but no, they're actually just down the street at the UPS store. Not that hard to actually have something printed. You can try something very small just as an experiment. Five, ten dollars, see how it turns out. See if you'd like to learn more about it and actually make some more interesting and more complex designs. If I've piqued your interest in 3D printing, I'd recommend going online, reading some more about it, and then give it a try, either at your local UPS store or if you don't have a 3D printer in the town you're in, you can go to services online where you again send them those STL files. They'll tell you how much it'll cost, what size it will end up being, and then you can give them a yes or no. They actually 3D print the product and send it to you in the mail. I had a couple of people who very kindly took me through the basics of 3D printing. One is Eloisa, a viewer here from last year on this channel. She's an industrial design major in Brazil and she explained to me all the basics of 3D printing. It was very helpful. And then Kyle over at our local UPS store, he's the guru of 3D printing. He seems to know the answer to any question and he very kindly explained things to me in terms that I could understand. Thank you to both of them for their patience with me. I expect in a few years time they'll teach 3D printing probably starting in middle school because it'll be so commonplace. And when Roxana has painted our little BB-8 creation, we will post a picture of this up on our Instagram account on Rainy Day Dreamers. I'll put a link to that down below this video. You can keep checking back for future gadget and how to create your own gadget reviews or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. 
See you on the next review. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. At Epic Review, guys, we give stuff a try. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows. But before he goes shopping, he watches our videos.